Goss on the front. Very, very strong finisher. De Luca looks as though he's gathering himself here for yet another attack. He doesn't want to leave it to the sprint. He wants to try and crack the others. Bosenhagen sees the effort by the Italian and starts to come back up into his wheel. Well, Dan Lloyd, of course, is looking after the interests of his two teammates who are highly placed overall. Benny de Schroeder in sixth, Dan Fleeman in fifth place. And those two riders within 14 seconds of the lead of Geoffroy Lacat. Well, Bosenhagen saying to the rest, come on, do your work on the front, keep the pace high. We're not too far ahead of the group, they're boring down on us. And it seems to have had good effect as they, once again, continuing to share the workload, with the exception of Victor Pena, who is tucked in at the back. I think his legs are just about bursting. <laughs> Bosenhagen, he's only 21 years of age, but he's turning round to Victor Hugo Pena and saying, get on this wheel now, I'm not interested in taking you any closer to the finish. Three kilometres to go, these riders could get caught right on the line again. It's a downhill finish and there's quite a bend that swoops into the finishing funnel and one of those riders may just try and jump clear if he wants to try and give the rest a slip and not leave it to a sprint. Here comes Julian Dean, the New Zealand road race champion, of course, this group want to catch the leaders because there's 10 seconds on the line and with this Tour of Britain finally balanced with just a few seconds separating the leaders it's important to catch the four riders in the lead. Also up near the head of that main field I've caught a glimpse of uh, Jonathan Bellis who's riding on the CSC team the Manx man who of course is a stagiaire with that squad and he's going to be flagged up next year as a full-time professional. So it'd be interesting to see whether Bellis and Dean would be duelling for the top spot in the bunch sprint. Victor Hugo Pena took the last sip of his drink and now he's thrown the bead on or the bottle away. And that means he's trying to get his bike as light as possible before the line. De Luca, such a wily character, isn't he? Back at the uh, back of the group now and he's going to watch everyone else and he's going to launch himself. Well, that's the place to attack, second or third back, because the element of surprise is with you but once again it's Dan Martin who's full of riding here trying to go away again well bear in mind last year this race was won on the last day with a bonus sprint from Roman Fayou so any seconds count and the finish does suit Dan Martin De Luca two kilometers to go sitting at the front of this quartet well that's the worst position really to be he needs to be second or third back if he wants to try and launch a surprise attack and Bosenhagen has now gone to the head of the quartet. I don't believe this, the Colombian, who's been hanging on the back, has now taken off. Oh, Victor Hugo Pena, well, he didn't want to uh, go to the front at all. Now De Luca swings across. He's not going to do the chase. It's all going to be down to Matt Goss, who shakes his head. He can't believe that the killer has let Pena go up the road. The 35-year-old Colombian has taken flight here, and now who is going to try and breach to him? It looks as though De Luca is trying to get across, and this is Cummings. Cummings then of the Barlow Will squad. He's trying to get clear of the field. Remember, he's only six seconds behind the yellow jersey in the overall standings, who has just gone through. Well, this is fascinating. I tell you, these stages are absolutely fantastic. Now we've got non-stop attacks at the front of the race and in the group. Stephen Cummings making a bid for glory. Pena still in the lead, almost one kilometre to go. Pena right at the head of the race as they get ever nearer to the finish. The Colombian, who looked to complete spend force earlier on, goes under the one kilometre to go sign. Now, who is going to jump to try and breach to him? Three riders behind, and one of them is going to have to commit himself. Pena glancing around, you don't want to do that, Victor Hugo, just put your head down and go. But here comes Bosenhagen again. Bosenhagen looks like he's caught Pena. So Bosenhagen, the Norwegian, Super flyer here, who won the stage yesterday in Stoke, is going to replicate his position here in Dalby Forest. So, it's Bosenhagen that gives the victory salute to win stage five. And coming over the line second there is Matthew Goss on the CSC team. And De Luca has to settle for third for the second day running. And just at the head of the field, Pena managed to hold off Julian Dean, who won the bunch sprint.